Welcome to Eurotech training. Today we'll study welding codes and standards. Now let us see what are the types of welding codes and standard. Firstly, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, that is the ASME code. American Welding Society, AWS standards. American Petroleum Institute, that is API standards. International Organization for Standardization, ISO standards. And little less important ones, British standards, Canadian standards, Australian and New Zealand standards, European Union standards, and German standards. Now we will see one by one what are the, these uh, included in each of these headings. Firstly, we will see American Society of Mechanical Engineers, that is the ASME code. And the ASME uh, code is uh, for the boilers and the pressure vessel codes, that is the BPVC, covers all aspects of design and manufacture of boilers and pressure vessels. We are not covering all the codes here. It is only the important ones that are being covered. And among the important ones with the lighter blue color are the most important ones. So in this, we are listed four, which are the two main are important are ASME section five, which is for the non-destructive examination and ASME section nine, which is for the welding and brazing specification. Coming to American Welding Society, AWS standards, which has been listed in four pages, we will just highlight the important ones. The American Welding Society published over about 240 AWS developed codes, recommended practices and guides, which are written in accordance with the American National Standard Institute, that is NC. The following is a partial list of the more common publications. So the important ones here we are only covering AWS A5.1, which is for specification of carbon steel electrode for SMAW process. Secondly, AWS A5.18, which is specification for carbon steel electrode for process GMAW. And coming to the AWS B2.1, basically it is for the specification of the welding procedure and the performance qualification, primarily for the, for the qualification of the welders. The important one here is the AWS D1.1, which is for the structured welding steel, and based on these are uh, the WPS, WPQR, and the uh, testing of the welders is being done. So we have more series for one, two, three, four, five, and all that. This is meant for basically different uh, metals. Uh, uh, the two is for aluminum, sheet steel, reinforcing steel, stainless steel, uh, and so on. So these are uh, the processes which have been listed uh, as, as far as the AWS is concerned, the important ones we have just marked. Uh, this is the list which has been given on the sheet. You can just go through this list. And uh, uh, these are not very uh, usually used, commonly used, but they are the processes which have been listed as the important ones. And we also have got the AWS D15.1, which is primarily for the rail road welding. So this is one important among the which has been listed here. So this is about the American Welding Society, the AWS standards. Now coming to the next standards. The next one is very famous, International Organization for Standardization. That is the ISO standards, which are given in the four sheets here, four slides, and the important ones, let's see the important ones. ISO 3834 which is for the quality requirement for fusion welding of metallic materials. And it has got five parts, 
uh, that is from part one to part five, and it has got uh, different uh, uh, combinations. And number two part is a basically comprehensive requirement of quality requirements. ISO 4063, which has the combination of all the welding processes which have been there, and uh, this indicates about the welding and the allied processes like arc welding, pressure welding, pressure welding, uh, then gas welding, and so on. So this list we'll also be attaching uh, in the description. You can download the ISO 4063 uh, so that you know what are the various processes which have been listed under the ISO. ISO 9606 is the most important standard, which is basically for the qualification test of the welders. It has got five parts. So it's a part one is for the uh, basically uh, metal, uh, ferrous metal, that is uh, uh, maybe mild steel, carbon steel, uh, and so on. And for two, it is for aluminum, and it carries on for up to number five. So ISO 9606 is for the qualification of the welders over the different metals. And uh, other processes are just for academic uh, interest. Uh, you can just go through the remaining standards. Uh, coming to the ISO 15609, it is about the specification qualification of the welding procedure of metallic metal. Yeah, welding procedure specification. This is primarily uh, for uh, making a WPS, and this WPS is prepared on with the basis of which standard? Let's see. Uh, it's based on the standard ISO 15614, basically specification and qualification of welding procedure for metallic uh, material, and it is a procedure test. So it is basically the Test is there so based on the WPKR, you are making the WPS. Another standard ISO 17635 basically is about the non destructive testing. So, all these procedures of NDT are given in this standard. The next standard is American Petroleum Institute, that is the API standards. Here, the API is the oldest and the most successful programs is in development of API standard, which started with the first standard in 1924. API maintains over 500 standards covering oil and gas fields. But here, the important one is API 1104, which is primarily for the welding of pipelines and related facilities. Coming to Australian and New Zealand standards, we will not dwell much on this. Uh, it is only the uh, one odd that we will be just covering. That is basically the structural steel welding, welding of structural steel. The rest you can just go through. And the list of these standards will also be in the uh, description loaded. You can download from there out. Canadian uh, standards. Here we will only touch upon W47.1, uh, nine version. This is a certification of companies for fusion welding of steel. British standard, uh, the list is uh, there. You can just go through the list. So this, these are the standards which are normally followed by the British and uh, also by the European Union. Uh, th these are the standards which are mostly prevalent, but they are not uh, as uh, famous as what we have got the four standards like uh, uh, API, AWS, ISO, and uh, ASME. Coming to European Union, uh, we'll just see the two standards, EN 287-1, basically qualification test of the welders and for the fusion welding. And secondly, is about the execution of steel structure of aluminum structure. So these two standards we uh, just highlight and rest, you can go through the list of the other standards. The second list of the European standard is listed. Uh, please go through this list, uh, comprehensive, but only being used 
by the European Union countries and the Britain. And finally, the last is the German standard. Uh, the DIN is basically Deutsch Institute of Normum, uh, which has DIN. So basically, uh, based on the DIN, they have uh, had the standards based. So this is the welding. Uh, terms dependent of material for metal welding and rest two are basically on the German language, which uh, you can just uh, ignore. Uh, gentlemen, uh, we uh, regularly carry uh, and conduct uh, the webinars for the welding, welding training courses and uh, other courses. So if you are interested to attend the webinars, please share your name, email ID and mobile number to our current addresses, which are listed below, so that we, whenever we conduct these uh, webinars, we can inform you and you are uh, welcome to attend these webinars. And it will be very useful. And the people who are aspiring to go uh, abroad for jobs or from studies, these uh, uh, learning the welding processes and welding, welding uh, uh, techniques, uh, and technology, it will be very, very useful and uh, it will enhance your professional career. Thank you very much.